Howdy folks, welcome to episode 8. We are done. I finished loading or unloading all the, uh, whatchamacallit, here, let's put some fuel in here while I'm thinking about it, while I'm yapping. So yeah, I finished loading up the, the, uh, or unloading the cordwood into the thingy, so we should have, we should have our full, whatchamacallit. So I did try using the, um, the RRO extended mod, and it's not reading... They, every time they do an update, they change the memory positions of all this stuff and names in them and that kind of thing change. So they have to update the world loader, and I'm not sure if they're going to be doing that anymore because the person who was running the project, I think we mentioned that, is, has uh, passed the torch or whatever, <laughs> has, has said I'm done, which is fine. So anyway, yeah, what we're going to do is let's check and see what we have here. We have 24 iron, and we have... 48 rails. I think what we'll do is we'll probably end up being able to load up all of that onto cars. So let's get this, we're going to get some, some track built here quickly. And then what we're going to do is, um, here, let's go like this. Are we on 100? That's why. We're on 10. Okay. So we're going to put our track over here. I think we'll put this at the very end. There we go. Just because we don't need it to be, um, we don't need it to be farther than that. Because we're probably going to want this to tie back into that. And I think what we'll also do is we're going to put a switch here. We're going to put a switch, um, switch right. There we go. So that we can we can turn to that and merge back into that. But we can also um, put stuff out on the siding here. So let's see if we can. Because we're way down at the bottom of the map. Let me check something real quick here. We are, oh, we're at the, I was thinking we were down here. We're here. Yeah, there's nowhere else that we really need to go from here. So I think what we're going to do is, uh, we might be able to go there. But yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to tie this back in to that. So let's get that, whoops. Let's get that tied in. And we'll see if we can, what we can do here. It's a good thing they, uh, <laughs> Good timing on that, on doing that. So I also figured out a couple of the, the things that I was unable to figure out before. Let's see what we've got here. There's our link. Okay, so we're gonna bring our track over to here. And it's gonna come in about here somewhere-ish. Okay, that should be fine. All right, I don't think we need to specifically do that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this and I'll show you something here in a second. So we're gonna, can we delete that track? I'm not sure if that track actually um, connects. So we're gonna go like this, switch right, that's what we wanted. Okay, and then we're gonna connect this one. Let's go like this, and then after we get connected, we'll clear out all the trees. So we'll get this one connected to here. There we go. Is it going to connect? There we go. Like that. Is it not going to let me? Let's try turning it here. See if we can get it to, to match up a little better. Is it going to let me? I don't know if it's going to let me do that. Why is it like so... Here. Let's go like this. We're going to come out this way. Let's try this. We're going to line it up with that. And that's too low and that's a little too high, but we'll see if we can get it to match up here to this. There we go. Okay, so let's see what our track looks like here. See, that looks not too bad. Is it going the wrong way or something? Oh, it's matched up to there instead of the track. No, no, that is matched up correctly. Okay. No, I'm not... Never mind. Okay, so anyway, one of the other things they added was the uh, Theodolite. <laughs> it's where it sounds like an ancient tribe or something. Okay, the Theodolites, right? Um, let's 
go like this and we're gonna clear all these. I figured out how to use the theodolite and I found out where the bell was too. So I'll try to I'll show you where the bell is when we get into the into the uh, into the cab. Let's cut this these ones on the inside of the corner so we can see where we're going. What is that right there? Oh, I see why it's doing this. Okay. It's doing this thing. Okay. So we're going to delete this rail here. Can we demolish this one? Oh, is it... It was that one that was doing that? That's really weird. Okay. Let's try this. We're going to put a three-foot rail here. See, it's totally fine. Here, let's see if it'll let us connect to the other end first before we before we do this other thing. Let's see. There we go. That looks like it did it. Okay. And let's go get rid of here. Let's go into fast mode. Yeah, let's get rid of this one here. So we're going to demolish rails okay so we want to know what what the slope is between here and there so you can go like this and you place this down and then this will tell you so it's a minus 1.7 to get to that one so if you go all the way down to here for example see it's going to tell you it's minus 2 percent minus 2.1 percent etc etc so and you can place these down you can place as many of these down as you want and so yeah that's how those work um, we're gonna change out that track right there and I think that connects here that sure yeah it sure looks like it connects here okay so we're gonna get rid of this segment here and we're gonna go like this and we're going to connect this one to here. That's weird. Uh, the switches you generally want to be way back here. Is it not wanting to connect the switch? It's not wanting... There! It was on that side. <laughs> Alright, let's try going the other opposite direction here. We'll try going this way. There we go. We're going to go like this. And then we're going to come out here. Where's I saw the little link. There we go. Okay. So that should do it. We're going to get rid of these trees. We're going to get rid of this one too. These ones in the middle here. Yeah. Okay. So the other thing we wanted to do is back here. And before we before I forget. So over here, if you look, this is the bell right there. There's the bell. So just wanted to show you that. Because I, I don't know why, but it was nice and disguised in that, in that uh, interface. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to put a triple. Because we need to... Um, here, let's go like this. Three-way. Is it doing... Oh, man. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> That's totally not what I wanted. I wanted to go off to the left. Okay, so we've got straight left and right oh, that's too bad um, let's see if we can fit anything in here maybe we can we're gonna need the taller one maybe we can fit something in here we're just gonna have to go really slow about it when we when we park a train in here I think so we're gonna go like whoops this and I think we'll bring this out about to here and then we're gonna bring this out a little bit more whoops we bring this around the corner a little bit more there we go see if we can bring this in to the same sort of place like this and then we're gonna go nope not there over here there we go. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, that's good. I guess it's a good thing that that didn't come out and smash all those, right? Because <laughs> that would suck. All right. And hopefully these won't knock over our 
train. It, that did bounce on it, didn't it? Yeah, those are bonking the train. Nice. Okay. <laughs> They're hitting the engine. Nope, that's not a tree. Okay, we're going to get this one too. And this one just because they're kind of visibly in the way. All right, and then we're going to put an end of track. We're going to put a bumper on here. Buffers. Bust, bust my buffers. There it is. All right. So we've got those. We can put this other one on the inside track. Oh, we got to get rid of that too. That's going to be a problem, isn't it? There we go. Okay. Get rid of that one. Anything else? Anyone else? Anyone? Bueller? Okay, so we're going to flip our switch this way. So, yeah, we're going to bring this onto here. All right, let's do it. Whoops. And then we'll figure out what we can do with our other cars. So, let's... Whoops. We're going to get this one onto the siding. There we go. All right, we're going to take it easy on the regulator. We're not going to try to slam this thing around the corner and stuff. Make sure that we're clear. We should be clear over here. It just looks from this angle, it looks really bad, doesn't it? <laughs> All right. Reminds me of like those apartment buildings that are like an inch from the L train. <laughs> and the train just goes zooming past like the outside of your window. Like if you stick if you're sticking your arm out the window, you're gonna lose your arm kind of thing. Alright. Alright, so we'll put get this parked. And then we should be able to bring these out. I suppose we should put fuel in them too. But we gotta figure out should we bring the iron cars and all that stuff too? So we're gonna have to figure all that out before we get too far. A little bit more. Probably want to bring the nose up even with this one. We're on level ground, so we should be okay. All right. Okay, let's get some coal in this one. This one, I'm sure this one's like frozen now, right? It's zero Celsius. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's, it's it's always it always makes me laugh that the water is zero, the boiler is zero. Okay, so these have. What is our um, industries? Our next thing is the coal mine after the smelter, right? We need beams and rails. Okay. And the ironworks is the one that uses the raw iron? Yeah, okay. So we need the rails and the beams. Okay. And that's when you do one load, you're going to be set for life on that. So we just need to bring a bunch of rails. Who else uses the rails? Doesn't somebody else use rails? Refinery. No? I thought... I guess the... I guess the yeah, that's the only one that uses the... Okay, let's see. Gold, gold and coal. Make sure there's nobody else that's using rails so that we don't have to come back here. Aha, the gold mine uses rails. Okay, so yeah, we will not have to come back for rails. Okay, so the cars, we have... Where is it? Do, 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 flat car, flat car, logs and steel pipes, that's not the one. Okay, it's beams and rails, and that's what our, that's what our uh, coal mine takes beams and rails. Okay, so it's those cars. All right, so these cars are the ones that we want to bring, so we can disconnect the rest of these. We're going to disconnect the hoppers for right now. I mean, we're going to the coal mine. We should bring the hoppers with, shouldn't we? Does that make more sense? To bring the hoppers to the coal mine? All right. So we're going to uncouple. And we're going to do this 
Oh, nice. Yeah. I finally got one of those that everybody's been talking about. All right, I'll be right back. <laughs> How fatal? Completely fatal. <laughs> All right, we're back, and I've got... Uh, let's see. I think I've still got the... Yeah, we've got the knuckle couplers on here. So what I'm going to do is, instead of hitting the brakes on that thing, I'm going to turn off the knuckle couplers, and I'll show you gameplay off... And then we'll go back, continue. Okay, so we've got the knuckle coupler out of there. Whoops. That's so weird. I wonder where the hitbox is on that, that you can't reach the other one. Okay, so anyway, yeah, we've got the the couplers turned off on that, so we're going to leave those on the track in there right now. We also need to flip this switch to the middle. There we go. So we're going to take this one out here we go and let's see we're forward there we go are those coming with I guess those are coming with a little aren't they <laughs> maybe we'll see we'll see what they do but yeah, we're going to pull these out, and then we're going to back the other cars. We're going to back these onto the outside loop, and then we're going to go pick those up. So we'll see if we can do that before those uh, ram into the thing here. I might have to go up there and hit the brakes on them. Whoa, what is with that? What's up with that? Why? What's it even hitting? There's got to be something underneath there. There's got to be like a rock or a tree or something that we can't see. Okay, let's get up here and let's change this one to there. Let's hit the brakes on this before it gets too far. There we go. Yeah, see, it's the brakes. All right. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to go back to the other save. I'll meet you back here in a second. <laughs> All right, we're back. We're going to try this again. And I think what I'm going to do is we're going to reverse a little bit first to get these other cars moving back a little bit. There we go. And now we're going to go forward and see if we can get past this. I already flipped that switch. And the other thing is I deleted those two segments of track to see if maybe um, to see if maybe that was uh, there was something underneath them. But I couldn't find anything underneath them. So we'll see if this thing still is still uh, coming off the... Tr yeah, it is. It's already doing it. Look at that. Is it the new couplers, maybe? Is it the coupler style? Because it started doing that when we switched the couplers, didn't it? All right, we just need to go really slow then. We're just gonna... We're just gonna take it easy here, and hopefully this won't, like, fly off the tracks. Right? <laughs> crazy. Uh, crazy. No, 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 no. It's right there, too. It's that same spot, too. There's got to be something there. There's got to be something there, because this car is doing it, too. Okay, we're going to go flip this switch. Those other cars look like they're just sitting there. I don't think I'm... Are they moving? They're not moving. Okay, yeah, we did it. We, we successfully made them. Okay. All right, so we're going to go back this way. <laughs> it's like you got to work around the little quirks, right? Okay, we're going to see if we can back up here. Yeah, because I didn't see anything underneath that. I deleted this segment, because remember, those were the walls, and then I put them back. So, I might have to rebuild this segment of track. Maybe connect one segment or something like that. Anyway, let's just do this. See if we can gently get moving backwards here without driving this off the track. Maybe. See, the other ones are going to pull it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, the other ones will pull it back on. Am I going the wrong way? I did do that, didn't I? I totally did. All right. Let's go back up this way. I put the switch. Yeah, I put the switch to the side I wanted to go to. Instead of the opposite. <laughs> yep, that's totally something I, I'm going to do. Okay. Yeah, it's hitting that same spot every time. 
All right, let's see if we can get this switched without making track cars fly. Oh, it's gonna be tough, let's see. There we go. That's not too bad. See? Okay. <laughs> we could do two or three of those. All right. <laughs> and let's go like this. And we're gonna reverse out of here slowly. The weird thing is the engine is not hitting it. You know? And the other one wasn't hitting it either. The other one didn't seem to have any problem with that, so I don't know what's up with this this thing in that specific spot. It's not like it's rubbing up against the... I don't know, maybe there's a bounding box on the side. Maybe that, that little thing right there is a bounding box that it's rubbing up against or something. Something weird like that. I don't know. All right, let's get this around the corner here. So the question is, should we... Yeah, we're going to stop here. Okay. We're going to jump out. Does this want to go either way? Let me see if we're on a hill here. Because if we're on a hill, we can't park it here. Because remember, we can't put any brakes on. Let's see what happens. No, it doesn't look like we're on a hill. Okay. All right, cool. So we're going to disconnect this. Are we good? We're good. Okay, we're going to disconnect that. We're going to come up ba back up here, and then we're going to turn on the other couplers. And then we should be able to do everything else with just the couplers. So let's go like this. We're going to go forward. We'll get past this switch. Yeah, that... That's really weird. It's doing it back here now, too. The brake isn't on, right? No, the brake is not on. So I don't know what is up with this thing that it doesn't want to stay on the tracks now. There we go. We're going to switch to the center, and we're going to go into here, and we're going to go... Um, let's save game, too. We're going to go episode 8C. Um, options, gameplay, automatic. Back continue okay so now we should be yeah we're back to the knuckle couplers okay let's do this we're gonna back into this wow that tender really doesn't want to stay on the tracks <laughs> I don't know what they did to that thing it's a shame what they did to that poor thing right Okay, and then we're going to do this. Then we're going to do this. No, 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 no. What was up with that? Let's try that again. Let's open this. Make sure this is open. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Right click. Okay. And then... It's... They're open. Okay. It says they're open. They look like they're open. Okay. We'll try this again. Oh, man. Is it right up against the... It is right up against the buffer. Okay. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Sorry for the interruption there. Right up against the buffer. It's it's not exactly hitting it, so we'll see if we can if we can back into it now. Reverser. We're gonna take it a little easy here. And see if we can see if we can do it. You can do it. There we go. Alright, and then we're gonna we're gonna hit the we're going to hit the reverser as soon as we touch it. Come on, you can do it. Oh, it's just going to not it's it's going to not connect, isn't it? <laughs> it's as close as you can possibly get without actually connecting. That's awesome. There we go. Okay. So now let's see. 
Why is it that? <laughs> ah, this is great. Gotta love this, right? There we go. Did that do it? It still didn't do it. Why is it not? Okay. All right. Now we're gonna do. Uh, let's see. We're gonna push it up against that thing. See, we bounced it off that. Now let's see if we can... <laughs> Alright. <laughs> let's see if we can get it to... Why is it not going? Right? Okay, so let's go like this. Options, gameplay... We're gonna turn those back off again. Back, continue. Let's see what it's showing here. See, it doesn't have the it doesn't have the link in there. It's not showing a link in there. Okay, so let's go forward. We got to get this far enough forward away from there in order to do this. So we're gonna go like this. All right. We're going to do, okay, now we're going to go back up to here. Enter vehicle, thank you. No, enter vehicle, no, 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 no. <laughs> All right, so this should, this should come around, it should roll up here, and then we should be good. We need to take this pin out, though. There we go. Okay, so this should let us connect. That is weird. That was really weird. Okay, so now we're connected. All right, we're just gonna do it this way, I guess. And then we'll we'll screw around with other stuff <laughs> next time. All right, <laughs> I can't believe how long this is taking. I'm just gonna switch the order of the cars. It'll only take 30 seconds. <laughs> 10 hours later. <laughs> All right. Now we got to come up to here and watch this thing float off the tracks again. Uh, okay. Got to love alphas, right? Ooh, that one's... Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, uh. <laughs> All right. I'll be right back. <laughs> All right. We're back. Let's see what we've got as far as got a pin on that one I think we're this should be empty on the end of this one right yep it is okay so we should be able to bring this through you know it makes me curious it makes me wonder if we replace this piece of track if we replace this piece of track with just a straight piece if the thing would still do that but yeah let's you know what we can do that we're gonna go like this demolish rails this one we're going to go like this. We're going to put a piece of rail on here. We're going to do number five to go straight. And then we're going to go up at 3%. Let's see. What do we need? What slope do we need to, to miss this? Right? Does that still miss it? That still misses it. Okay. We're going to try this and see. I'm just curious to see if this has any relationship to it or not but we should be able to do this and I'm kinda hoping that we can get this <laughs> it's all connected come on there we go alright so we're gonna go forward there we go yeah I don't know what's up with the because the hopper wasn't doing that before either you know it only started doing that now. Like this episode. So there's something in the update that broke something. But, and this was after the hotfix, because there was a hotfix that they put out because they were having problems. People were having problems with fatal errors and stuff. So, this is post hotfix. Just FYI. Oh, nice! Oh. <laughs> 
Oh, that's beautiful. All right. I, all right. I'm going to get this hooked up, and then I'll be back. So I'm not going to show you every single fatal layer. We'll, we'll figure it out, and I'll be back in a minute. Alright, we're back and after like 50 attempts, it, it keeps crashing in the same spot. So I think what I'm going to do is, I and I tried changing this to a different switch, I tried like taking out the switch completely and putting a flat piece of track from here to here and it still, it crashes every single time I hit that same spot. So what we're going to do is we're going to try going around and we're just going to hook up these cars and for now ignore the coal cars or whatever. So. Let's see if we can get around here. I mean, I was going to try to do further stuff on this instead of including that in the episode, but that seems to be the <laughs> the real the real gameplay right now. So you know, we'll do that. <laughs> it's fine. Um, we'll see if this is going to drift off the track again or not. But yeah, it's uh, so I switched engines. I tried with the other engine too, and it's specific to those coal cars. The you know what I mean, the iron cars, whatever they're called, the, the hoppers. <laughs> it is very specific to the hoppers. So what we'll do is we'll try coming around this way and we'll see if we can, wow, that is a tight turn for this thing, isn't it? Yeah, we'll see if we can get, see if we can get this come back this way so um, the other th thing I wanted to mention is this they changed they changed the way that switches you click on them and they said that's because in a future update they're going to um, they're gonna allow you to click the switches from the map which is awesome that means that a lot of that functionality the flying and the, and the auto switching and stuff that um, a lot of that extended the railroads online extended mod um, those features that I was using that for are basically being replaced with in-game quality of life improvements which should have been there in the first place so yeah yeah so cool <laughs> I might need to chop down a couple of these oh is that one right in the middle of the track that one's right in the middle of the track let's go get that one <laughs> we're gonna get a couple of these there we go get this one yeah, we definitely need to get that one. I don't know how I missed that one. Is it the right... Is this the right one? Yeah. Yeah, that is the right one. Okay. And then for these... I think it's this that removes them. Let's see. Um, T. Groundwork. Bridges. Facilities. Locomotives. Props. It's props. So you can delete these by deleting props. Just FYI. And where's the other one? The other one's up here. We'll get this one. But yeah, we'll see if we can get our train around this way. And there we go. Okay. That's really close on that one too, isn't it? <laughs> I didn't even notice that tree when I stopped. Okay. Let's do this. There we go. All right, so are we, are we back on the knuckle? No, we are not back on the knuckles, okay. All right, let's hit the brakes here. Let me slow down a little. Um, let's go to um, gameplay. You know what, I think we're gonna leave it off of the knuckles because we were. Ha I, was, I wasn't able to get them to, to click back in. So we're just gonna See, we could put a switch here and connect these two, couldn't we? We could make the inner and outer circuits. Not sure why I didn't do that. Whoa! In the first place. 
Is it going to do this again? Let's see if we can get this to... Yeah, okay, good. I think it's just the tender. I think it's specific to the tender. Okay, let's go like this. We're going to do this. We're going to get a few more of these trees. A few of these are pretty... It's, it's more a matter of they get in the way of the camera than anything else. Yeah, that one's fine. Okay. All right. And then we need to... We're going to do this. We're going to make sure that we have no link in this one. No link, no pin. Okay, cool. And then we are not going to use the brakes on it. So, because... It, and I was able to turn the brakes on one of them without it crashing, but it's just obviously it's a it's a trigger. It's one of the things that causes crashes. So we'll, we'll just <laughs> we'll just ignore that for now. All right, we'll just leave the brakes off of those things. So, but that's why I got that other switch set up so that when we hit this, we got some room to coast. A little more speed here. We don't need to go that slow. All right. It's kind of funny that it's the that it's the tender that's falling off the track on these curves and stuff too. Okay. All right. Let's go get this hooked up. Other link. There we go. Okay. And we're gonna go like this. Okay, cool. We made it. And let's go forward. Okay, there we go. Really wish they would keep that sound preloaded so that so that it, the whistle comes on instead of like doing the uh. <laughs> right? Okay. See if we can get around this without crashing, right? <laughs> I think I think if it crashes again, we're just going to call it an episode and wait for the the next hotfix because <laughs> they are working on another hotfix too. But we'll see if we can get the rails. We got rails and whoa, rails and beams, rails and beams, rails and beams. <laughs> All right. Let me get this here. That's perfect. All right. Our switch is going the right way, isn't it? Yeah, we're already on past it. Okay, so we're going to put... How many rails do we have? Yeah. 20 rails. I, did this it show? Let's check while it's doing that. Facilities, not facilities, industries, coal mine, two beams to one rail. Okay. It's two beams to one rail, I think. Is that? That can't be one rail equals one coal. It's like ten coal or something like that. Yeah. But anyway, we'll do we'll do two cars full. That should be fine for now. And then we'll fill the other ones with beams. So let's get back up here. How many is that doing? There we go. 28. All right, cool. It must be doing three at a time because we have one at the end. All right, let's do this. Um, where are we going here? We need to go to the... The coal mine is down here. Okay, so we're going to need to go to the freight depot. Oh, the sawmill, that's right. We need to go to the sawmill. We'll go to the freight depot, go to the sawmill, and then we can work our way to the coal mine. Because we're going to have to build, obviously, we're going to have to build a, a track to the coal mine since we haven't done that yet. There we go. I'm really tempted to put those other cars on there. 
the the tender cars although those are the ones that are crashing too so i think we'll leave those off for now and we'll just wait we can we can make another run with that and bring all the cordwood cars and everything else down because i know there's something else we need cordwood for eventually cool so with the teardrop route like this we can either go all the way around the loop and come out the same way we came in or we can turn around so that's cool that allows us to to do either way and I don't remember if our other switch oh that's right we have to go past the switch and then back up we're gonna go back down to the freight depot we're gonna go backwards to get to the freight depot gotta watch the three-way switches on here if we have any <laughs> right okay I don't think we've added any other three three-way switches yet that one's left that one's left okay we're good on that so we should be able to should be able to do this bring this all the way back There we go. I think we need a little bit more. A little bit more. There we go. All right. Let's go. Um, whoops. Wrong way. Sorry. <laughs> We're going to flip this switch. That's right. I keep wanting to drag it, but okay. Yeah, the thing is, it depends on which side of the switch you're facing. It doesn't, it doesn't account for that. So yeah, it's like the right button is to to flip it to the right from the one perspective, not from your perspective. But you know, all right. Let's see if we can get back in. All right, let's go do this. Reverse. There we go. Let's see if we can get a move on here. Twenty. Yeah, I'm not sure what was going on with that segment of track. There must be something in there. There must be like some invisible thing or something. I don't know. Invisible hitbox or something weird like that. Let's see. Can we go faster? Yeah, we can. All right, we can coast for the rest of this, I think, because we're going to end up picking up some serious speed here. There we go. We'll pick up some speed just from the downhill. Yep, let's see. There we go. All right, and then we're gonna to want to break before we get to this. Yeah, we definitely don't want to be go, going 40 when we hit the bottom of the bridge. <laughs> definitely not. Okay. Let's see, we can come around here. And then I think we just need to get past this one switch here and we're good. Go brakes. There we go. All right. Okay, let's go to the sawmill. That should take us to the sawmill. Yep. Okay. That's gonna be a long drive out there. So, let's throw in some fuel. Whoops. 
There we go. We'll do another one. There we go. 98%. Awesome. All right, let's do this. And let's go forward. If I remember correctly, we were not able to get past about 25 up this hill. This is a little bit of an uphill here. There we go. This is a long straightaway. They need like another key, set of keys that control the reverser. Like you have W and S to do the the regulator. You need the ones next to it, E and D or something like that. The Q and A. There you go. E and D are on the brake. Right? Because we can turn that down just a little bit so it's not so obnoxious on there. Let's turn on our lights. There we go. Going past our farm. We get like the tiniest bit of. We get like a tiny little tick out of it, right? Thirty. I think it's because we're leveling off, which is going slightly downhill, which I think it's going on. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna coast. Yeah, we're gonna put a little break here. There we go. Ten percent break. There we go. Looks like about 10 to 10, 10 to 12 percent. Ten percent. Let's see, we've got, yeah, it's not a super sharp turn coming up here. Okay. Cool. Making some good time. that beautiful Alaska sky. All right. I think we are done going downhill. Maybe. No, just not as steep. Right. There we go. I want to keep it. <laughs> I don't want to get too far running away. Oh, that lighting is really cool, too. Okay, so which side of the thing are we going on now? Does it matter? It doesn't really matter, does it? Oh, yeah, the sawmill, it does matter because we don't have a turnaround on the other side of the sawmill. Okay. Let's go like this. Let's turn on our lantern. And let's see which way our switch is going. It looks like it's going the right way. Yep, they're both going the right way. Okay. We're good then. We should be good to... to get out there. There we go. It's really dark. Where's the moon? Well, here it comes. Here comes the daytime. Okay. I was going to say, I don't see the moon. Where is it? <laughs> Where did it go, right? Okay. I'm still waiting for the game that incorporates, like, you know, moon phases that make sense. Instead of, uh, it's always a full moon. Or they do, like, the moon always comes up when the sun sets. And... And then the moon changes phases, even though it's like it's coming up at sunset and it's a full moon, and then the next night it's coming up at sunset and it's a half moon, which makes no sense. I think Imperion actually did the 
lighting they did the lighting on the objects so it actually worked itself out if I remember correctly the moon phases were correct on Empyrean that is a whole lot of beams all right Seventy-seven beams. Yeah, we should be able to fill up these cars. That should be easy enough. Let's see if we stopped at the right spot. Yeah, we did. We're awesome. Okay, so we're going to turn off our lantern. So one thing is we're not going to be able to remote drive these cars. So good luck trying to pull that up to the thing, right? Let's see, where are we at? So we need to bring two cars, the first log car, up to that, to level with that. Uh, the first beam car, that is. That's one, one and a half, one and three quarters. Let's see, a little bit more. Let's see if that worked. That looks about right. Yep, we got it. Okay. I suppose you could put those little uh, theater lights on the ground too to mark where you need to go. <laughs> okay, let's bring this back. We're gonna bring this back to the, um, what you call? Did it not load the other one? It didn't load the other one, why not? What happened? What happened? Did it? Did I not click it? I know I clicked it. What's it doing? It loaded it this time. Yeah, okay. We'll bring these back to the freight depot and then we can go from there next episode. So let's let's take our drive back here. All right, reverser. There we go. We should be good at 20. There we go. All right. I know we're not going to be able to get any more speed because we're going to be going off this hill, but we can get a little run at it here first. There we go. There we are. That looks like it's working. Okay, cool. Mountains look really nice out there. They look cool. I always love living in Denver, seeing the mountains all the time. I don't know why, but it just gets calming. <laughs> you look at the mountains, and it's like you know there's stuff up there, and there's just it's so many possibilities. You know what I mean? It's, it's cool. I don't know. Everybody feels that way about mountains, but or just seeing another place and thinking, I wonder what it would be like to be there. Okay, yeah, we're losing our strength here. There we go. Pick up a little bit. Didn't pick up any more speed. No, it doesn't look like we're going to. Okay. Let's see what the negative 100 does for us. No. Okay. 
There we are. You think you could you could make that maximize by putting like a gauge inside the if you put a gauge inside here so that it shows the pressure and the gauge the needle would bounce back and forth, but it would how far it bounces back and forth as the pressure goes up and down would be an indicator of, you know, how well you're timing the thing, or you even have something where it's like that's bouncing back and forth and then the piston is bouncing back and forth. So it would tell you what your, you know, optimal timing, so you can tell if your timing is optimized. That'd be kind of cool. Although I don't know, I've never driven one of these, so I don't know if it's like just easy to just intuitively you automatically know, oh, yeah, I can feel it. I can in immediately feel it when I push the reverser too far that I'm losing power. Because I know you can do that with a car with a gas pedal, like when you're pushing gas too hard to try to go up the hill and it's chugging, it starts lugging, you can feel, well, I can feel that. I don't know if it would. <laughs> I think a lot of people do not. Uh, do not have the same connection to vehicles. Because like people will drive along with like a low tire and they need the TPMS system to tell them that. Okay. Like you can't immediately tell if, it, if, it, if something is different. Yeah, anyway. Alright, we are back at this. We're gonna um, I think the coal mine is down that way somewhere. So, oh, I need to hit some brakes here, too, <laughs> before we get too far in here. All right. <laughs> but, yeah, I think the coal mine is down there, so we're going to do, um, I think we're going to sit here. We'll just park it here, and we'll figure out where we're going to go from there. But, yeah, that's going to be it for Episode 8. Join me in Episode 9. We will go... It's behind us. Yeah, it's way back there. Okay. Yep, it's over. Oh, it's around. It's either around or over. Oh, we're going to have some fun. All right, join me in episode nine. <laughs> we'll see you then. Later. <laughs>